I'm Ryan Dean with Gilson Engineering Sales of Florida in the Fort Lauderdale office. We're here today in the Gilson Engineering Flow Lab and I'm going to give you a brief demonstration on how to set up and program an Insight Dissolved Oxygen and Total Suspended Solids monitor. As you can see now, we actually have a Dissolved Oxygen and a Total Suspended Solids probe in our tank on the top in the water and we're giving you a measurement. If you flip this open, you can see here you bring in your AC power into this terminal here on the right. You bring in your two sensors here on the left. This board's for your relays. These two boards are for your 4 to 20 milliamp outputs. So now I'm going to show you how you actually go through and program the unit. First thing you're going to want to do is press the menu button and you're going to come to your main menu. You have three options here. You have your run mode, your setup mode, and your test mode. You have a down arrow, an up arrow, and an enter button. And then these here, you change your resolution. So we're going to press down, go into setup mode, press enter. And this is where you're going to set up your relays, your 4 to 20 output, and Modbus communications if you choose to do so. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our relays. This is where we come into relay 1, operation mode. You can either have a low set point or a high set point. Then you're going to come in here and do your relay one set point. This is where you're going to tell set point one to come on. Then drop down. Go to relay one set point off. This is where you're going to actually have your set point come out of alarm. And then you have relay one fail safe mode. That's it for the relays. You can then go back and do that for relays two and three. Then you're going to set up your analog output. You have your analog type, which you can choose 4 to 20 or 0 to 20 milliamps. Then your analog full scale, which you can set to whatever it is you choose for your process. Then analog minimum scale is actually always going to be set to 0. And then you also have an analog fail-safe mode as well. Then you're going to do the same thing for analog 2. Each of your sensors actually have two analog outputs. One is for the process and the second is for temperature. Then you're going to back out and you can set up Modbus as I said if you're going to use the Modbus communications. And then there's also sensor 1 setup which this allows you to come in and actually recalibrate the sensor, which you will have to do periodically every one to two years. Then once you do that, come back to your main menu, go to run mode, and you're measuring. And that's all there is to it for the setup and installation of an Insight uh, monitor. It's a true plug and play device. If you have any questions or you need any other assistance when you go to set yours up, Feel free to give us a call at 1-800-860-4499.